Well, I, I was I was looking for a cameraman, a director of photography for Schindler's List, and I hadn't found one. And I happened to be watching a television show, a movie made for television by Diane Keaton, the first movie Diane Keaton ever directed, uh, was a film uh, called Wildflower. And I knew it was on, and I watched it, and I was very impressed with the work of Diane Keaton. I was equally impressed by whoever the cinematographer was. And, I, I, and what impressed me about the cinematography was the audacious use of warm and cool colors in the same shot. He'd have a warm foreground and a very cold background. Or he'd have a, actors in the foreground with very cool light, and yet the sun would be warm coming through the windows. And I thought that it could kind of uh, just a contrast of, of, of the, his palette, the choice of his palette, amazed me. I didn't meet him yet. I hired him to do a pilot. I was I was going to produce for ABC, and he did about he did the pilot, and the pilot was equally good. Meaning I was I, I wanted to make sure it wasn't a fluke, <laughs> and then I met him. For the, and, and the thing that I didn't realize was that. His name was Janusz Kaminski, so obviously he was Polish, but was he Polish-American? No, he was born in, in Poland. And uh, right there in the office I said, do you want to shoot a film black and white? Have you ever shot in black and white? He said, uh, in, in Poland, we can only afford black and white film school. <laughs> so I've only shot in black and white. So that was a marriage made in movie heaven. And we've worked together ever since 1993 on everything.